Well, 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 here we are again. Here we are again. And who, who am I with? You with Jamal? And? And TC. And we know I'm sharing, of course. You already knew that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't just myself. But anyway. Well, we got, a, we got a story. Breaking news. Breaking news. Well, TMZ and I guess Live Now broke this. But Tisha tells, Tisha tells, T I S A tells, go to her page. She got more information about it. Yeah. Well, look, you finish saying what you were saying. Okay, well, let me finish. Well, we got breaking news that took that, take that, he did it, I took that. <laughs> I said it all. <laughs> <laughs> what? I took that. Has been, <clears throat> his home has been raided by Homeland Security Investigation. Well, well, he got, well. He got three houses on his property, and guess who wasn't there? Of course. <laughs> Took oh. that, take that. Oh, did he? <laughs> wasn't that? Uh, I heard that he was on a flight. He was on a flight, and uh, cause and the plane was forced to land because he had a, you know, you got to do air traffic control. You got to mm-hmm. track your flight. They forced his plane down. Go on teacher's tale. She has more information about it. Wonder where he was going. They claim his flight path was going out of the country. I woo. <laughs> well, see, Diddy. Oh, uh, you should have left the country about uh, two or three days ago. Yes, you. Really, he really should have. Anyway, that's listen to what this guy had said. Then we'll we'll come back. Following, and of course, we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on Live and Now from Fox as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. Of course, we're learning more information. I do want to take you back out here before we get out to our Fox 11 team in their coverage because some of this video is very dramatic and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on Live and Now from Fox. Of course, breaking news of this. As you can see, potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate, this on a street uh, near the Beverly Hills area. Of course, we're following it very closely on Live Now from Fox. And of course, we were watching this. We didn't know exactly what we were seeing at the time. So this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well. The long guns and a multitude of people as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using. Our old agents going in there. Man, look at that. In which this that's more than 10, isn't it? Yeah, that's crackers. more than 10. Mm-hmm. Producer, you can see them checking inside a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved, if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there, raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy and Eddie. They look like one of his sons. See them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox well, team there back. in Los Angeles as we continue to cover this. Hey, and that's the son. It look like I'm not for sure. The ground right now as we speak. Let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of Los Angeles. <clears throat> our mission at Coding Dojo is about redefining what's possible in our students' lives. If you are interested in getting into tech, we are. And then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. See this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this in a neighborhood like this as well. This is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received as evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly, this is not something they do lightly. They really go through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they can 
conduct a raid like this. So yes, it took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this, as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being. Because mm. Haley, you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done. And there you have the shot from Sky Fox again, these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars. You already see a Porsche, a G-Wagon, so many luxury cars right there on that property. So it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there of, of what you're seeing. But look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place. Again, we don't know what exactly they're looking for, who they're looking for. But again, this could possibly be linked to a sex trafficking investigation. I'll stop right there. Everybody know who they looking for. They know who they looking for. They looking for Diddy. I mean, uh, now uh, they 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 saying he's involved in a sex trafficking. Um, they, I mean, this is new stuff. Well, they been, they were just getting all the information. But there's, I guess when um Cassie put all the news out, that's when all the information well, put out. Well, she did turn over a lot of videos and and, and burn the phone, yeah, allegedly. So we don't know how true that is. Wow, mm. wow, that's and you know and and all you don't know what you know she she uh told the FBI. I know they drilled her. <laughs> yeah, they did. They drilled her. <laughs> they got a lot of information out. And, you know, he, he's bringing in um, male prostitutes to his home. To, to freak off parties. Yeah, he's he bringing in people in, in his home to do these things. So, I guess you would consider that sex trafficking, wouldn't you? Pretty much. What you think, uh, uh, TC? What you think? Come on, you off a of quiet back there. Come on. <laughs> Well, I'll let y'all get y'all's uh, piece in real quick. Okay, here. Take, the, take your, your, say your piece. What's your piece about? Well, I'm not surprised about what Diddy did and why people why the, why they had agents that looking for him. He is who he is. Remember when his son's like, take that, take that. I remember on one of the videos they did have him talk about. He said, "I'm a savage. What do I want? I get." He did say that. <laughs> he, he said that? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, in the Bible it say you reap what you sow. That's true. So you sowing uh, wild roots, you going those wild those wild roots are gonna come right back to you. Yeah. See, all these that you've done will be accounted for you on Earth. It, it's gonna be on first. It's gonna be on Earth. Then it's gonna be on the afterlife. Well, maybe he don't believe in the afterlife. Maybe maybe he don't believe in the afterlife. He ain't gonna believe in one now. No, you know when, when you got as much money as he got, you you know that's the stuff like that ain't important to you. You, you get like this uh, when you get so much money, you get this godlike complex. Yeah. Think you can do whatever you want. Well, did he not do it for a long time? He did. Did he not do it? He did whatever he want to whomever he wanted, and nothing happened. I mean, they, they still. They still uh, trying to hook him up with this two pot thing too. That's true. So when you when you you know you got to keep on down low. That's true, but the song Frank Nacho said, "I did it my way." Well, he did. I mean, you know, he thought he could get away with stuff like that. Now, this may sound racist, but he's a he's a billionaire. But he's, he forget that he's black. That's true. Uh, you know, and and that that just don't set well with some people. Or a lot of people. So, what some people can do and get away with, you can't do. That's true. And maybe he tried to be a Jeffrey Epstein. Who knows? He thought if old Jeffrey did it, I can do it. Yeah, but we'll look what happened to Jeffrey. I'm going to take that, took that. Look what happened to Jeffrey in there. Yeah, he, allegedly he committed suicide. That's oh, what yeah. they say. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> but come on mm -hmm. now. Really? Mm -hmm. they, if he was on suicide watch too, mm -hmm. and then you're going to commit suicide on suicide watch? <laughs> yeah, the prisoners are, the, allegedly, 
The correctional officer did yeah, something to him. Yeah, it wasn't a prisoner that did that. Uh, they were paid to shut him because he would get ready to expose all those wealthy people that participated in his criminal activities. Yeah, so they had to shut him down. They it, it shut him up. Now let's play some more of this video. Involving rapper Sean Combs, the music executive. But as you heard from Haley right there, she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that Sean Combs is on that property at home right now. He may be in New York nope. as this raid is being conducted. But we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not not sure at this point but again Stu if you could hear me what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view well, again, you saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there's something inside this piece of property in the back, as one of the back houses, that they have been. Very very interested in getting at. We haven't seen them bring anything out. At one point, there's there, I, I can say, and when I keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out, but, but we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin, but I don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed, but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary, and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you. This is that front area that you were just talking about about moments ago we watched as those bearcats made their way up maple tent to make the, to actually do this raid and then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates say, over here on this side of the property once they had breached that well then they opened those gates up right there and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in they were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home uh, that garage door went up very quickly and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside of there We've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then. It looks like there's a large table inside there, so that might have been an office area or some sort of staging area, and that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored uh uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out, so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be. And uh, you can see them just kind of making their way through that property. But I can tell you, every home that's on here, meaning there's three major homes. This one right here, there's a couple of officers still inside there. We know at least one officer is still inside here. So they're still standing guard. So that whatever it is that they're doing, this isn't over by any means, and I think this is... I got a question. Don't this home have no security cameras around it? Well, you know, they weren't expecting all that to happen. I mean, they not like they were sitting around watching the, the monitors. I mean, they caught them off guard. Yeah, well, in a house that size, you need to designate one person who's watching the security cameras. At what? least two. One can take a break and another one can watch. Well, you know, it seemed like uh, if uh, they have a setup where somebody come near, it'll beep or something. You would I think mean, so. You, you would think, but maybe they was, you know, doing other stuff, had other activities going on in the house. They just weren't paying attention. Oh, having freak offs, allegedly. Well, no, you know, maybe they've been, you know, doing a little toot toot and a little. A little drinky drink. Yeah. You don't know they they were busy. All right. They they weren't expecting nobody to come there. Who nobody has ever done that though. So. That's true. Hey, ain't got no security guards around the house or no. nothing. I mean, look at that. Look at that area. People don't just uh, loll around there. People mm -hmm. don't just walk around in areas like That's that. True. Got the fence and the bushes on top of the fence. It's yeah. up pretty high. Yeah. Don't nobody just lollygag around. <laughs> In that neighborhood, because if you do, uh, <laughs> don't say what you want to say. 
What? You know what I'm going to say? I think I do. What no, you're gonna you don't. Say. I'm going to say if you if you seen wandering around, uh, the police go come and get you. I thought you going to say something there. What? I thought you going to say the Karen's going to be calling. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. You said it. I didn't, but Is that right? that, who, who else going to call? And Karen's and what they call the, the rich Karen's. And what they call the men. Uh, Brad's. And Karen's and Brad's would have called. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you, you paying that much for your house? I think I want some Karen's and Brad's calling for me, too, if they see yeah. somebody. I mean, look at that house. Mm-mm. Got three properties. Three well, houses yeah, on that, that property. Two of them guest house. I mean, could you imagine how much you paid for that house? Who knows? I know he... I know We're talking about he, large millions. Range Rover, diamond rings, big houses. If you like them kind of things. <laughs> and Puffy like them type things. But, but I, I don't understand how a man like him, after he beat the odds of a black man becoming a billionaire, why would you jeopardize all you've done and all you have for some freaky dicky stuff? Because he get a, because he get a thrill at having power. Yeah, he make somebody do anything he want them to do. Yeah, he he don't want it if it come easy to him. That's not a challenge. So to take that, took that. Man, I mean that that is Oprah the same way. Oprah the same way. Sir Dirt just hasn't been really exposed yet. Yeah. I remember last time I tried to report on on <laughs> Oprah. On my channel, it got shut it down. Got shut down. I don't have five views on it. She got my channel. She got the uh, that, that video shut down. Uh, the video got <laughs> it shut too it down. It shut it down. Didn't give me a chance to edit, delete it, or nothing. <laughs> take that. <laughs> yeah, Oprah gave me that. Take that. Took that. Uh huh. That's all right, Oprah. I ain't finished with you. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, they stuff leaking out. I mean, it's, it's something about money just make you just lose control. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't want that kind of money if you're going to make me act like that. I, I I don't want that. I don't want that. No, no. I guess I'll never have to worry about getting it. But uh, I, I, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. If you're going to change me and turn me into something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Because, you know... Um, there is an afterlife after you leave here. That's true. And um, I'll wait until I get to, up there to get my mansion. Well, evidently, you couldn't see the pictures all the way, but some of his, I don't, I don't know if his sons, I think they were just detained. I don't believe they was arrested. No, they they, yes. they didn't arrest them. They had to get them out of the house. Yeah, while they searched. Mm-hmm. Well, an old dolphin. Try to slide out of the country. Now, I'm sure he's in custody somewhere. Yeah, I believe they said he's in custody because yeah. they had they forced the plane to land. Yeah, he's in custody because he is a flight risk. Now, how long he stay in custody? That's another thing. Well, I'm sure they already got enough, already got enough to charge him for something already. Right, yep. They just looking for the several bullet. Yeah, that's what they looking for. But they they got enough to the keep him in custody until he paid the the bond. I mean, if they set him a bond, yeah. he, since it's a flight risk, they, they may they may not. They might not. Yeah. I mean, they they caught him on a plane trying to leave anyway. So why would you give him another opportunity? I never thought I'd see a day a dolphin comes out of the ocean and get on a plane. Look, <laughs> dolphin teeth did it. Look, his teeth smaller than a dolphin's. You know, I, I'm gonna make a comment about uh, um, somebody made a left comment on on our page that we sound like a bunch of clowns, but we write. And I I I commented on it. I said, you know, yes, we well, we try to entertain, we entertain, <laughs> but we also drop knowledge. That's right. I mean, we we just having a little fun, mm-hmm. entertaining. I mean, if if you want something serious, go to another channel. Yeah, go somewhere else. We're just having some fun, kicking back, and then getting a few laughs in. But we 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 tell you real stuff. Yeah. In the end, what we're saying is real. Now, 
There's so many channels on YouTube that you can pick. As soon as you turn it on, you see us clowns. <laughs> click off. It goes away. Well, right? Like TD Jigs, I'll click off. <laughs> <laughs> click it mm-hmm. off and go somewhere else. There's they, they no need in all this stuff. I mean, everybody is not for everybody. No. And thanks for helping the channel out. Even if you watch it for 25 seconds, you helped us out. Even, oh, yeah. a, com- even a comment helps. Mm. All we need is you five seconds to watch the video. We're good to go. I mean, you know, you don't have to be nasty. The channel just not for you. <laughs> you 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 just don't get us. Are you too sensitive? Maybe. So you know, just just move on. Let, let's keep it moving. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> Any more thoughts from you, TC? Uh, not really. I mean, I I I, I don't uh, find pleasure in reporting stuff like this. I mean, this man. His sins are catching up with him. I mean, you you can't go out here. You know, they, the world calls it karma, but the Bible calls it consequences. Well. There's consequences to everything you do, good or bad. If you do good things, there going to be good consequences. If you do bad things, there going to be bad consequences. Then everything you do in the dark is going to come to the light. You got to pay for You got to yeah. pay for this stuff. And unlike you, the only time I'm glad to see black people go to jail when it's Diddy. And you know who the other one? Superman. Well, Tiffany Hint. They 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 breaking the law. Mm. They they do what why why shouldn't the rich why why shouldn't they suffer the same way oh oh Pookie and Ray Ray. Yeah, well they have to suffer too. I mean, they get away with it long because they can pay people. But after a while, you no, know, you got to answer to a higher power. Well, that's true. And when he says, okay, look, you're done. You're done. I agree. So all all this stuff that P. Diddy has done to other people is coming back. Uh-huh. It, it, it's just coming back. And it's a shame because, you know, a lot of people had to suffer under his reign and a lot of, you know, it, it's just not right. Just not right. And, you know, I, like I said, I, uh, people, there are some people on uh, Facebook making comments like, oh, are you happy now? You happy you done bought another black billionaire down? You happy? He needs, uh, when you're doing criminal activity, you need to be taken down. Did he bought himself down by his actions? He bought himself down. Only thing YouTubers uh, do, they report. Yep. They report on things you done. They didn't. They didn't start it. That's true. And I always, all we do is re-report on the story. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you you're not blaming the news channels for well, bringing Diddy down. Well, it was they come at the YouTubers like they part of P Diddy's family? What yeah. do you do there? Nah, I don't know. So you know. Don't don't shoot us. We're just the messengers. We're just reporting on it. We didn't make this story. We didn't do the things that to bring Homeland Security to Diddy's house. I don't even know the telephone number Homeland Security. Do you? No, but I'm pretty sure I can look it up. <laughs> well, we didn't know Diddy's address, so how can we see somebody else? Um, what we didn't we didn't call in with no tips. We we don't. Uh, come on now. Let's not forget, I do know some people in high places and also low places. I started saying most of your <laughs> friends are in low places. Well, but I, anyway. I know a couple in high places. <laughs> yeah, like the warden and, yeah, okay. No, um, the ones with government clearances. <laughs> yeah, like like that warden to let you out mm-hmm. on a technicality. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, but we, well, we um, I, I hate this for him. You know, I hate the fact that we we finally some of us has finally uh, slipped through and made it, but we don't know how to act to keep it. So sure don't. I mean, this is generational wealth he could pass down to his kids, but you no, know, who knows how much you gonna have to end up paying out after all the lawsuit, restitution, lawyer <laughs> fees, and all the who who knows. Let's play a little bit more. It ain't gonna be with you long.
probably just getting underway. They just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure, and if there is anybody on this property, that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for. But again, as you mentioned, very well planned, very uh, quickly executed, and of course a number of officers out here. I couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property. You can see them right there, and this is just a small group. That was also one of the things, as soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate, the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that Range Rover and then made their way into this portion of the home. And that's that garage that we've been talking about. That garage door went up very quickly and out of all the people that we see come out of the building, that's where they all came from. They walked them out, put them in this little corner right here, and that's where they've been questioning them ever since. Another ladder, as you were mentioning, a couple of ladders on site as part of this raid, I don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach, but uh, yeah, we did see somebody carrying a ladder, the second one on the property right now. It does seem like there are three different buildings on this property, the main mansion, and then two guest houses, for lack of better uh, knowledge in terms of what they are exactly used for, but yes, two smaller type houses on the lot as well, and of course the pool right there in the middle with the grass uh, lawn. So clearly, uh, yeah, this is going to take time, and that is why probably there are so many personnel on site to go through everything and do the search that they are conducting. We, again, don't know a lot of information in terms of what evidence they're trying to collect, who they're looking for, or why they made the We know who they're the looking point. for. But again, this could possibly be uh, involving the sex trafficking investigation. And uh, again, when we get more details, of course, we'll bring it to you. You, but uh, this is going to be a while. You see the Department of Homeland Security officers right there in that Bearcat. You know, this could be phase two of what to do now, what they're searching for, and making sure they have all their information they need when they conduct a raid like this and go through the process of going through that property. It is a big mansion indeed, owned by Bad Boy Films and one of Sean Combs's children. So again, uh, this happening just about 20 minutes ago at this point, we do have video from earlier, if we could show you that, and we have been showing some of that to you in a bigger box, um, as a, a juxtaposed to the live pictures you're seeing right now. But uh, when they made entry, it was very methodical, and they did have many different law enforcement officials here as a unified operation, and uh, a lot of them making sure that those entry points are secure and they're able to make entry all together with uh, very, very little use of force. So um, clearly it is, a, it is a process whenever you conduct a raid like this. So again, we do have have Haley Winslow on the ground as well. She is pushed back to a certain perimeter though, so they're very differing vantage points that we can see, but if we do look at the ground shot there, you see law enforcement on the ground there as well. Haley, uh, anything changing where you are, you're at right now? Just a lot more people showing up on scene. It's been pretty hectic out here. This all unfolded about 25 minutes ago, and I apologize that you couldn't hear me clearly earlier. It's very loud, especially we've got, of course, Sky Fox showing you all of this from overhead. But basically, it all started about 25 minutes ago, 30 or so law enforcement vehicles that were from the Department of Homeland Security, LASD, and of course, LAPD assisting in this as well. And they pulled up to this home uh, that's registered to Bad Boy Films, part of that Boy Entertainment, one of uh, Pete Diddy's companies, and uh, the home's also registered to one of his daughters. So they it looks like that's two of his sons, because I know one son is light skinned and the other one uh, a little lighter than Diddy. Yeah. Well, first they said the house was registered to the Bad Boy film and one of Diddy's son. Now they said to his daughter. Yeah. He probably got. He he probably can make sure he don't got none of the houses in his name. So they can't come and take anything. Yeah, well, he, got all, he should have put all the houses in his mama name. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that, that's probably what he did. I mean, they, they three houses on the on the property, so he probably got a house in each one of his kids' name, or he just divided up the property between them. So yeah. that way, if he goes down, his houses won't yeah, go that's with him. True. He probably got some money in their accounts too. I'm I'm sure he yeah. does. I mean. Th they're not broke. Nope. So he, he's got everything split up. 
between his kids. So if he if he lose one thing, he won't lose everything. Mm-hmm. But you know that that's smart. That's smart. Well, we weren't supposed to be before you long, but we spent a little bit of time on this. Well, yeah. So you know, I I I do believe Cassie had no idea that when she came forward, all. Just all, no, all the worms gonna be open. Yeah, everything just gonna fall apart for Diddy. She, she was just trying to get compensated mm-hmm. for what he did to her, and every now his whole world just shattering right out from under him. A world's in shambles over you. Well, <laughs> you, you, you did it to yourself. Yeah. I mean, I, I hate that, but uh, Give us a thumbs up if you like this. I mean, I'm, this is going. This is just the beginning, this, folks. Yeah, this is this beginning. is just the beginning, and I'm sure they're gonna find out more stuff after this video come out. There gonna be more new stuff coming out. So just stay on. This is just the beginning. There's a lot more. So if if you like, give us a thumbs up, share, comment. And then we got to also give a shout out to Tisha Tell. She had a foot on his neck for a long time. Yeah, oh she, oh she, she been on yeah, yeah. She been after him for a while, a while. Yeah. But you know, subscribe. Like, I mean, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I mean, it don't, it don't cost you nothing, you know. Uh, if if you like our kind of stuff, the way way we interact, if you like this, then subscribe. If you don't, just keep it moving. Well, until next time, this is Jamal. Well, oh, oh, T.C. This is T.C. <laughs> T.C. just chilling now. Yeah. Is he not chilling? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, of course, you know me. I don't, there's no introduction. I don't know. Huh? But it's sharing in case you didn't know. In case there's some new people watching, mm-hmm. it's sharing. And so uh, stay blessed, people. And, 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 you know, do what's right. If you do what's right, you don't have to worry about this. And keep the haters coming because we keep y'all employed. Well, no, everybody needs some haters. Now, everybody, Jesus had them. So now we got some. So, oh, hey. And we're not comparing ourselves to Jesus. I don't want to go twist that narrative like, <laughs> like you sick people on YouTube like to do. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not Jesus now. Well, I'm just saying. We're far from that. <laughs> far. Yeah. Well, until next time, people. Be blessed. We out.